Hi, in this video, I will show you how to do an automatic calibration of the SWAT Plus model with RSWAT. So for this example, we need the data which include bone files in the text in out of a SWAT Plus project, SWAT Plus executable file. And as we want to calibrate for stream flow at the catchment outlet, so we need to observe stream flow at the catchment outlet. And these data were included in the R squad package. Please see tutorial one for how to get these data. So now let's start open R studio. Okay, now call library R squad and show the R squad user interface. General setting. So we want to work with SWAT plus here and the working folder. For example, I We we'll use this for the all of the files created by us. What will we save here? And the taking out of SWAT plus example data, SWAT plus take in out. So you can see the HIU information of this SWAT plus project and SWAT executable file. SWAT plus executable file, which can be downloaded from the official SWAT website. So I downloaded it already. And here's my SWAT plus executable. And file will list our own SWAT plus parameter. Example data here. So, and this file you can be found in your take in out SWAT plus project. Okay, now parameter sampling. For example, you want to calibrate for this parameter with this method of change. You can click here what the reality mean, what the absolute and replace mean. So, for example, you want to calibrate for own, then use uh, own object. If you want to delete a parameter, you can delete here. If you want to add new parameter, insert a new row. For example, if you forgot about uh, forgot the parameter name, you can click here to see. You can search dot router dot h. I use uh, H I use here. Yeah, and you can copy here, paste here, select the method of change and mean max and object and the condition. Okay, and for check if you type correctly in here, for example here. For example, let's say I type something string here. Cannot find a selected parameter in this files. Check again, yeah, okay. So let's say we want to run 20 iterations with the parameter set generated by uniform latent help group sampling. And this is similar to the SUFI2 approach used in a SWAT cup. Now run SWAT. Before running, we need to define which output we want to extract. For example, I want to extract simulated stream flow where the catchment outlet. So in my case, it's in this file. 
and in the column number 48, page number one. So you should check in your Squat Plus project. Well, yeah, it could be different. And the selected day range for extraction, for example, you want to extract stream flow at the catchment outlet. During this time, here you select the date. And for example, you want to run uh, five simulations in parallel. And you can click here. Click here to run. Let's open the working example and see so now we have here working five taking out folders. Okay, it's running and why it's running, we cannot do anything. Just need to wait. When this uh, status bar disappears, it means that uh, all simulations were done. You can check which simulation have been done by clicking here. So we have already five simulations, still need 15 more. Okay. Still need. 10 simulations more. Five more. Still running, yeah, it's done already. Here you can see the list of parameters you can save. Okay, now we can evaluate the model simulated result. For example, here I want to use the NSE, so I need to load the observed data to cal calculate the NSE. Absurd data. So in my absurd data, I have two time series, one for calibration, which you see in here, and one for validation, which you see in here. You can open the ex example observed data. Yeah, here see, this data will be used for calibration. And here's V for validation. So the data formatted date, year, month, and day. Hour, hour, minute, minute, and the value, and the flag. C means calibration for calibration. NA means you will not use this value for either calibration or validation. And V means for validation. So now you can calculate the objective function. Calculate the objective function. Okay, now display the plot. Yeah, this is the plot of the NSE and the parameter value. And you can display the table objective function. This is calibration validation. NSE for calibration, let's see what is the highest, 0 0.2, lowest, 0 0.1 for validation. Sensitivity analysis. So in this tool, I only offer sensitivity analysis using multi-regression method. 
multilinear regression. And this was also used in uh, sous vide 2 of SWAT Cup. So you can see, can we max the most sensitive parameter? If you shocked by absolute the start value, you can save this uh, table, click here and save. So now I want to see the 95% uh, prediction uncertainty, for example, my behavioral threshold is 0 0.1. I can display a plot in here. Yeah, and what is the best simulation? You can zoom in. You can turn on, turn off, add the layer, the median. And you can see the table of the plot, the value of this plot. You can copy, control C. You can paste here and say and plot in the way that you want. Want, yeah. And the behavior of parameter range and the B and R factor for calibration, for example, B for calibration is a 146 and validation is a 144 and R factor. Okay, and then you can save your project. Yeah, so your project will save in the working folder example working folder is say here yeah